Um, just want to ask you a couple of uh, like random uh, Uhura type questions. Absolutely. Sort of Here's the thing I, I have uh, with Uhura. She was this character that was built to kind of show the world um, what a person of race uh, would do in command in the 60s. Yet, you are still being hauled around as the woman in power kind of sort of thing. And, and I've heard a lot of fans actually ask me, did Michelle Nichols fail in her conquest or in her like message, or did it not come across? I mean, this was- Never, never, absolutely not. Michelle did the best that she can do given her times. Yes. And, um, and, and given also the, the boundaries that she was given. I, I mean, I, I wish, I wish, I wish life was like that the artist has complete and utter control of their character and of what they're doing but you are a tool you're a puppet you are told where to stand you're told what to say you're told how to say it and women are um i think bigger slaves to to those boundaries and those boxes so nichelle did an exceptional job um given those times and and it was just a blessing that she was there um the one thing that i I, because of my times, I wanted to do differently is I never wanted uh, to use her sensuality um, uh, and incorporate that in her mannerisms. I don't, I, I don't know how to play sex. Wow. I can play many things as a woman. I know how to play sex with a partner and my privacy. But I feel that there's an oversaturation in the market of women always being sexy and, sim and sex symbols on screen. And if that's something you can do naturally as a woman, by all means, join the saturated stereotypical bunch. Right. But I, I, like adding, I like focusing on other layers that I may find sensual that aren't so on the nose. So, so I think that the Ahura of the series was super foxy. And, um, and I would have been ridiculous doing it. I, I just, I don't, it's not natural. So I wanted, if anything, I wanted her to be still, to be poised, right. to be great, to be elegant. And, um, and I always have like an animal approach to my characters. I like picking an animal for them, and it's sort of like the animal that best represents them, and she's a horse. She's just so muscular and very firm in where she's standing because she believes and the education that she has brought to herself, and she believes that she has gotten there out of her own merit, and and um, and she's going to do well every single day she opens her eyes. So, so I wanted I, those things. I do her. I do uh, uh, improv theater, so um, I do a lot of uh, character creation, and uh, that is a beautiful thing. To Animals the best. Yes. Um, uh, okay, and then that's why is, is this my other my follow question to this is uh, why is today's so horror so serious? So would you say that this is a, because Uhura today is a, a you don't get in her way kind of sort of character. Well, yeah, because it's just like I, I, I've, I've met enough people that work in the military and the Navy that are Marines, whether they're women or men, they take their jobs very, very seriously. So if I were to analyze the Federation and compare it to something that, I, that is current for me, I would find, I would find a thousand examples to base Uhura on. I'm not going to make her the the entertainment and the and the the <laughs> the intermission distraction of of the crew if she needs to blend in with everybody that means that you need to speak to her the same way you would speak to Chekhov to Sulu to Spock to everybody but she also needs to speak to everybody the way she speaks to you know herself so I wanted her to sort of be a reflection of the world that I would like for women where you don't you're not seen based on your gender you're seen based on your traits and the potentials that you can bring to a situation or to an environment or to a department or to an organization or to a, a profession. So says the but blue green. This and do you know this and this will not be my staple when I perform. They can't. I absolutely love that. Thank you for sharing, and I think that is a uh, time for us. But uh, thank you. Those are amazing <laughs> questions. There you go. <laughs> bring the fan.